Welcome back to the 5x5. Five five. It's David, and this is The Drive. <laughs> I don't think it sounds good, but it might not. I might sound really, really corny to all you practical people. Anyhow, but thanks for listening. I haven't done one in a while. <laughs> I just, like I said, I've just been busy uh, doing stuff or just not really into it. I was taking a break. Let's just say we, I was taking a break. Um, I did, I, I wasn't even doing live shows on Spreaker. Uh, dot com. Well, you can now find some of the drive episodes. So check out um, the five by five on Spreaker dot com um, if you missed the episode. But mostly they'll be on the website. And during the week nights, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, um, which you'll probably hear this on Tuesday because um, it well it's almost Tuesday, not quite. Um, you'll hear this one on Tuesday night. Um, live on Mixler.com so trying to get my Mixler cred up <laughs> I don't know if it's working but you know and I have to make a detour on the way home because people don't, <laughs> people don't think my time is important or even not even my time being considerate of my time I, I don't mind doing stuff for people but when you ask me to do something for you, don't wait till I'm at work and and then I get off at 12 and it's time for me to come home and I have to do stuff for you and get it to you before I go home. I don't like that. I'm not going to say no, <laughs> but I'm going to tell you, hey, don't do that. That's just, that's, that for one, it's disrespectful. Um, you obviously didn't care. You, didn't. you ob- obviously don't care about my time, I almost died, uh, it's a really narrow kind of funky street, um, about my time or you would have asked me, you needed this done at one o'clock just as much as you did need it done when you text me this bull mess tonight. Anyhow, but that's okay. I'm doing it and you know, either I say no, don't do it or do it and fuss about it. Either way, it's going to get done because I'm not that kind of person. At least I, I don't claim to be and I'm going I bit the orange everybody I normally don't do that <laughs> but I, I couldn't I couldn't stand that that, <laughs> that um, um, red light I couldn't do it so I bit the orange you ever heard that saying biting the orange just before it when it just before it turned you keep on going when you know it's ready to turn red so yellow into red is orange you ever heard that somebody somebody said it's like peeling the orange I don't know if I know that but I got to swing by the bank it's a money thing, so uh, is it really safe to go by go to the bank this late at night? <laughs> should I should I be worried? I'm not gonna put that into the universe because as soon as I pull up here to the ATM and watch this ATM will be closed or something because the last time I was at this ATM it, it it wasn't working. I will be pissed off, pissed off. Then you'll hear me scream and and say a few expletives. Not that I don't say expletives now. Couldn't bite that orange, everybody. That light was quick. You will die trying to run that light. <laughs> but anyhow, getting off work. It was it's my Friday. So it's supposed to get a lot of snow. And supposedly the groundhog did not see a shadow because it was cloudy, so there was no shadow to be seen. And we're gonna have six more weeks of bad weather. I am over it. Um, although the little snow we had the other day wasn't that bad, but it was just bad enough on my way home that uh, I couldn't record a show because I was um, white knuckling it. Not really. I'm pre- I'm a pretty good snow driver, and I don't. I think when you get antsy and you try to um, buck, not even buck. What is this car doing? You are not in that much of a hurry, sir. At at 11:45 at night. You are not that much in a hurry to get to where you, you, uh, people kill me. 
slow the hell down. That's how people have wrecks. And I hate this particular parking lot. Because my cars, you know, I have a Monte Carlo, and it's it's kind of long in the front, and so it uh, when it, this has a dip in a parking lot, and so when I am trying to get out of the parking lot, the front of my car scrapes, and I don't like that. I hear that. I guess everybody is, is in a hurry tonight. I'm obviously not one of those people. Because I'm not trying to um, I, I want to get home, but you know, I ain't gonna, I'm not trying to die trying to get home. And let's see. That didn't seem right. I get out. I got the amount that I needed. Uh, who knows? I am. Um, see, hey, you hear that? And this is almost like going down perpendicular. I said, Dick, perpendicular to the ground. It's such a strong or a deep. Um, Uh, incline but I did it so it only took me what five minutes to, out of my way not even that so I ain't gonna trip anyhow I hope you guys are doing good thank you guys for listening I didn't say that when I came on um, yeah it's snow so um, hope it doesn't get bad this week but I'm not leaving the house all day tomorrow um, I have food I have I don't have any alcohol, but, you know, I haven't been drinking here lately. Um, I have been laying off the soda, though. I haven't been drinking any soda because I, I think the sugar was, well, I know the sugar was killing me, you know, uh, with the family of diabetics, and I'm only the one, I'm the only one that, that doesn't have diabetes, why exacerbate a predisposition to, um, uh, to diabetes, so... It's just silly to me to uh, keep on consuming, woo, keep uh, to continue to consume the amount of sugar I was consuming. It just it was just being very harmful to me because the other day I was eating something and I had like two of the you know those twenty ounce soft drinks they had a coke and a fanta you know the, the fanta is one of the worst other than mountain dew is one of the worst pops you can drink because of the sugar content and it, it, it and then my chest start hurting i'm like i'm ready to kill over and die with all this pop and this is like an everyday thing you know i i'm not going to, i'm not going to put myself out there and tell you how much soda that i drank but it's a lot and i need to stop because it's not cute and so i did so i've been drinking the flavored water the, the flavored water from Walgreens is horrible, but they have the little, like, the colored flavored water that has a little bit more taste to it. Um, oh, gas, gas went down six cents. It's $3.29. Um, I should have waited to get gas, but I had to get gas today. Anyhow, um, I, um, another one flying down the street. What is wrong with y'all? I mean, they're, they're a party that I'm not, I haven't been invited to that everybody's trying to get to tonight because... They're tripping. Anyhow, um, and so the Fanta is like one of the worst. And of course, Coke is it's just a lot of sugar. And I had a donut. <laughs> I, I'm not a fatty. Tri well, I am a fatty, but I, I, I shouldn't eat this way like I've been saying. But um, I just I had to come to a stop. I did lose some weight, though, which was interesting. I weighed myself tonight. Um, another piece of information that you guys won't get. Uh, but I was like, oh, huh. I really did lose some weight. Which I was shocked because of the empty calories that I consume. But my job could be, maybe I'm getting worked out of my job because it can be pretty physical and I'm always doing something. And then I'm always stressed out. So <laughs> maybe, that, maybe that's the reason why. 
um, I, uh, <laughs> I have been, um, I mean, you really can't drive. I mean, seriously, you did all that speeding and stuff, and then you come into a abrupt stop at the stop sign, and you know how you, you can wait maybe a second too long? You waited a second too long. Tramp. Anyhow. <laughs> That's, that's my little bit of road rage for today. I don't get real. I don't have road rage at this time. Like, no, there's normally nobody out going my way. So, anyhow, again, I stopped. So, I've been drinking the water. So, the water from Walgreen is, is kind of nasty. But they have this colored water. Don't get the clear water. It's all carbonated. Get the colored water. The skinny. Right now, they have it three for $2 at Walgreens. And then I went to Walmart today. Their clear water that has the flavor, the different fruit flavors, is a lot better. It tastes a lot better. And so... I am, um, I'm, I, I'll drink that. And I borrowed, they had the ones cheaper, the same ones Walgreens had. It's their store brand. They had it cheaper than Walgreens did. So that's always a plus when you can get something cheaper and you like it. And the one is yellow. It's called Classic Lemonade. When I tell you it's really, really good, it tastes like country time. It's really, really good. No calories, no sugar. I, you know, I, I guess it's real fruit juice. I don't know how they make that flavor, but it, it was really good. So that's going to be my drink of choice right now because uh, I'm going to go on a sugar-free sabbatical uh, because it, I was doing too much. Enough of that. Like I said, it's my Friday. Going home, not leaving the house tomorrow. At least I don't think I'm leaving the house tomorrow. Somebody always has um, other plans for my time. So hopefully that won't be the case. Um, yeah, but then I have a coworker that just came in. My relief staff just came in, and my thing. And you know how you, how you I, I'm not gonna be mean to you on purpose. I might ignore you, but I'm not gonna be overtly mean to you because you know he's so jealous of the job that I do because. Again, I've said this on my speaker shows. I've said it on my blog talk radio shows. I've said it on here, I think. I, I, I pride myself in doing a good job. Uh, it's a challenge to me to see how good I can be. It has nothing to do... I'm not trying to be better than anyone. It just happens to be that I am. I'm challenging myself. Everybody thinks I'm trying to be better than them. No, I'm challenging myself because I want to be good at my job. This is how you get promoted. This is how you get raises. This, you know, not that I need the acknowledgement, but sometimes in the in the field that I'm in, a pat on the back is okay because of what you have to go through on your job. And my job is very stressful. Um, and so, you know, I heard this person and he always has something smart to say. So it wasn't too far from being... It wasn't too far from being the truth that he had some smart to say about me. He was talking about my back like, I think I'm perfect and blah, blah, blah this and blah, blah, blah that. Well, dude, I can't help it that you don't, you don't or can't do the job that I do. It's, it's, it's nothing against you. And of course, he's been there longer than I am. And it, that's, that's another thing. Oh, I hate people say, you know, they use it. And there's another um, associate um, that says... I've been here for X amount of years. Well, that really doesn't hold a lot of water to me because if you suck at your job, I don't care how long you've been employed at a particular place. That's because nobody's caught you doing your bullshit. And so people won't pass on the back for that. I give you a pat on the back for being at a job for so long. But if people knew and they cared about your job performance and it is poor because right now my job, we have low... Uh, male staffing so it's hard you have to do really really something really horrible uh, to be terminated um, if you're a male because we have low male and then there's some of the sites that are male only um, I, I worked at home health care if I haven't told you guys that before and so it's hard to get rid of a male staff if it's something not horrible um, but you know I keep my site pretty much up on everything with the laws and um, you know, healthcare stuff and, and day to day stuff. So really nobody, I don't have a boss that's on me every day. I don't, I don't, I don't really see my boss. I'll, I might not talk to my boss for two weeks. Um, but it is, um, 
it, it, it's pretty, it's ran pretty smooth because I keep it. So, but I did a little test uh, last week. I didn't do a couple things and everybody was waiting for me to do it. I'm like, it's not my job <laughs> to do this. Y'all can do it. Of course, when I left it up to um, the, the four stooges, it was all messed up. So I spent an hour uh, yesterday and an hour tonight fixing things in order to complete the job that was supposed to be supposed to be done at the end of the month for January. But I got it all done because it needed to be done. And I'm like, you some idiots and I don't like you. So he comes in tonight and he speaks. But you know how somebody probably thinks, oh, somebody didn't told you I've been talking about you. And I'm like, hey, you know, I don't have much conversation for you. Hey, you know, you don't even get a what's up. And uh, he's sitting there acting like somebody's done something to him. Because then you didn't did all this crazy stuff and talked about me having my back and been shady. But then you, you have the audacity to have an attitude. You know, now you're mad because I'm not saying nothing. Dude, put that in the can. And the thing is, he, you're 20 years older than I am. Man, I I know understand about respecting your elders and stuff, but hell, get off the cross, Mary, because I'm not <laughs> I'm not having it. So I had to deal with that. We have a, a staff meeting. And I'll let you guys know what happens on uh, Thursday, which I don't want to waste my time going to a staff meeting, but it has to be done. So anyhow, I think I've babbled enough. I have finally made it home. Thank you guys for listening to the drive. I'm your host David, and this is Five by Five, and we'll see you. Next time.